This is what you call organic chicken. We live on room freely. These birds actually sleep in the streets in the night. And then they come down to feed in the morning. This is a cherry tree here. They have some ripe cherries. Freshly minted to pick from the tree. It's right there. Very sweet. I'm standing right here at the banana plants here. You have some young ones, the different stages of development. This is like a fig banana. Very sweet when it's ripe. Very sweet. And that's here at the bottom. You have the young suckers, the young ones that's gonna grow up there to to get very big. They have different stages, as you can see different sizes and from one root of banana this is what it becomes it spreads over the years and become like many many plants and I'm now standing right in front of a spice this is what you call a spice tree right here the leaves are used for making ingredients for like things like vermicelli people make it and they add it in there this is one of the spices i'm standing right in front of a core tree here right here and it has some fruits on the top of it two different trees which is different kinds that's one kind right there and here is some more this is not ripe yet, different sizes. Have some big ones here at the bottom. And then you can see. And this is this is what you call a wild pine growing on top of the tree. It doesn't actually suck the tree. It actually receive the water that falls on the rain it doesn't actually take anything from the tree it just lives on the tree while climbing now now right here is what we call a sedium tree it has many fruits as i can see here green ones and not right yet you have a few ripe ones they become like red you can see that they have one right in here and they're like many many on this tree here and this is you can see that right one right here that's what it looks like then it's right there's one another one here this and the rest are uh, young ones they're not ready to be eaten yet but this is called a sedum tree very very nice fruit it has a many when you when you eat it, it a lot of small seeds inside it but it has a, like a very nice flesh and very tasty I have one right in my hand holding it a sedium this is it now I'm standing right in front of a monkey apple tree here it has some fruits on it it's not ripe yet it's a very tasty fruit it has a lot of seeds inside actually and then you you suck it and it's very tasty they, they flesh around the seeds so this is what you call a monkey up right here you have a smaller one there I have another one right there and if you look here, you can see like a number of them. Monkey apple. That's a local neighbor. As you can see behind this, is we call a trumpet a tree. Some people use the leaves to make tea. That's what the trumpet. And then as you can see behind that, 
It's jamun. Lots of jamun trees there. And looking here closely on the ground, you can see this is jute grass. Especially red. But this plant here with this flower, we call it wild starch. And let's say it is a very sharp grass called razor grass. It's very sharp, the edges here. If you run your hand along it, you could get cut. Actually, it's very sharp. And this is what grows in the swampy areas. Right here is in front of me, I'm standing is a drain. So the drain is actually abandoned, it's not really taken care of. So this is what you get from side out. You have this razor grass. Very sharp. As you can see here, this is a coffee plant and it has like coffee actually growing here. This becomes black like that one and when it becomes black like that then you could usually pick it when it's right like that and then you put it to dry and when it dries it becomes it looks like this one here. Then it's go to the patch for milling and then you see. This is a coffee bean. It's not taken care of properly but this is one actually that was left on the tree. But usually it is you pick one of these right there the, and then it's put you leave it to dry and then when it becomes dry then you you get this. You get this what is called a bean. It's roasted and then grinding becomes coffee. I am standing inside of a, this is a very huge cashew tree. Very nice fruit is usually there, but it's not in season right now. As you can see, it's very huge. When this tree bears is like thousands of cashew grows there. <clears throat> As you look around the farm, you can see like some coffee trees, more coffee trees. And this farm used to be well planted, but many of the trees have died. Now on the ground here, if you look carefully, it's a grass. This is called Lukuntu grass. And it's very good for the cattle. It grows very rapidly and it's very good for the cows, the cows eat it and, and becomes fat very fast. This is one of it. They also feed on that jute grass, the young that was weeding. You can see like the young shoots are coming up back the jute grass. That's also eaten by the cattle. They eat the young leaves. See the kind of grass here. Now right now I'm standing in front of a kamaranga tree or five finger. You can see there you have like a fruit, very sweet, tasty, like five fingers it have like this. The fruit is very nice. This is what I call kamaranga, five finger. You can see it right here. It has five fingers, as they call them. It's because of the, you can see like, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five spouts like this. So they usually call it five fingers. This is used to make delicacies like achar and things like that. But it's a green one. This is very sweet actually. You could eat, eat this right now. Very sweet. Listen in the background, what is the anaqua? Anaqua. Type of bird. I don't know if I could be able to capture the bird in the film, but that's the song it makes. <laughs> right here is what we call a bloodwood tree. Right here in front of me. It's good for making fences and 
frame of like you want to make a marae it's very good wood to make that and it's also useful for burning for cooking for giving the fire this is the type of wood here this is what you call a badahar tree badahar inside of it they call mami This is a breadfruit tree. You got a lot of breadfruit in it. That breadfruit, right? Mm -hmm. This thing good feet, man. The one I showed you earlier was a black cashew. This is a chokne cashew. As you can see, you have more trumpet tree here. Now, this is what it's called Moko Moko. We used to use this when you get a cut, you would cut the young tip like right there and you would squeeze the juice to stop bleeding. Moko moko. Right there. This is this is the leaf. And this is this is where you used to cut. Right there, squeeze the juice out to stop bleeding. Put it in a pot. Parrots. Parrots. Parrot. This is our tree. Right there, the parrots just flew out from the tree. This is an avocado tree right here. Stomach ground. This is one right here. Avocado. Not many here today in the tree. 